Hey guys, hey it's Lisa. Uh, this is a 18 inch round that I got from Lowe's. It's a inch thick. Oh. I uh, put wax paper down and then sealed the sides with tape so that I didn't have to use all tape. And then I added, oops, oops, Oof. I added some fairy lights to it. And it is the Constellation Cancer. So as you can guess, I'm going to do a galaxy pour with the fairy lights. Here, let me turn these off. So I just took a um, paintbrush and did one of those splatter techniques to splatter some white around. There you go. I think that's going to probably look pretty cool once I get some colors on it. I'm going to put these lights back on now. And um, then I took uh, the Montana effects spray glitter and I just put a little bit on it and then the colors I might not probably not going to use them all but these are my what I'm thinking about using most of them are resin arts uh, the uh, color arts resin art pigments which I got blue moon Fantasy Fuchsia. I'm going to do Star of Eloon. Maybe. <laughs> like I said, I got a bunch of these colors. But I'm probably not going to use them all. Uh, some Surf's Up. Royal Amethyst. This one is a gorgeous color here. The Pretty Periwinkle. the seagrass and I'm going to use a bling it bling it violet I'm probably going to use some stone cold gold dust possibly some stone coat black glitter uh, I'm going to use um, Lorez Sun Catcher because well, it just says Galaxy All in it. These are all um, all powders. Uh, possibly possibly some Mayron Gold. Not sure yet. And then I'm going to use the Deco Satin Enamels to get some cell action in there. So that is my thoughts for right now. And uh, and uh, I will be back when I get all of these mixed up. See you soon. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um... Where did we leave off? Um, okay, my little white spackles are dry now. Let me fix this here. Little white spackles are dry now. 
so um, I'm just going to put a clear coat on this for right now um, with a little bit of black glitter. Uh, this is the stone coat, quick coat, because I want to do the other part soon, so it will cure. Uh, it'll start to cure in like 15 minutes, but um, it'll be hard enough to do another layer probably in like an hour. So just got to get the stirred up till it's crystal clear again. I don't know if you can see me do this. Not that you probably don't even want to see me do this. Okay. So this is pretty clear. You don't see any strings in it. So yeah. So then you're good to go. Um, I'm going to put some of the stone coat, you see that, stone coat black glitter in it. I'm not sure, you know how sometimes when you put glitter in resin, it kind of takes the shine away. I'm not sure if this is going to do that. I have never used the black glitter. I just thought that it would add to the galaxy fancy schmancy shimmery goodness uh, yeah I'm not sure that it's keeping it shine maybe it will after it uh sets up. Maybe I'll just sprinkle some. But I do want to put a little bit of liquid beads glitter in it to give it a little bit of a always add more glitter, right? Glitter, glitter, glitter. So yeah, the liquid beads, glitter, it does not lose its shine. See, you can see the sparkles of that, but not the sparkles of the black. I don't know if you guys can see it from here. The black was really super sparkly in the bag, but see how the black's not sparkling in the resin? But you can see the iridescent liquid bead one that I did. Yeah. So hopefully, um, hopefully the black will get its shine back, but we will know in about an hour. Okay, so right now, I'm just putting a clear base coat Black glitter feels very gritty, 
which is weird because I don't usually have that issue with glitter. <laughs> so I'm just going to spread this out. I'm going to go like all the way around the fairy lights. I am going to go over them, but right now I'm just getting everything else covered. Including the edges. My table is very shaky. So it's cool because it's still transparent, so I can still see my white splatter marks. So then the next layer, when I put the colors on it and stuff, it's going to give it like a layer of um, depth because you're going to see like the white under the clear and then the glitter and then the color. So that would be kind of cool. Well, in my head, it would be cool. We're going to see if it actually is. I get these round um, boards. Some people don't like using them because they're so thick. They have thinner ones there at Lowe's, but I like these ones. Um, this is an 18 inch, and uh, it was like nine something. It's 18 inches, and then it's an inch thick. And it's solid wood, so you do have to prime it and um, all that stuff. So I use uh, polycrylic. There you go. Set it right. I use um, too close to that. And then I will use either an acrylic paint or a spray paint. or something else. Um, that zinser, I'm gonna take a layer of these gloves off. I got two pairs of gloves, so I can just strip one off and have a clean set. And I'm gonna have to add some heat to this. So give me one second here, I'm gonna put my mask on. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit of heat to this. Shit, this damn light. I got these lights, and they're super cool, and they're super bright. But they're touch lights, so that I thought they have like four different levels. And I thought that would be cool, because I could touch it with my arm, with my gloves are on and all nasty, which is cool because I can, but sometimes I accidentally touch them and then it's just dumb. All right, so I'm going to use my heat gun, so plug your ears, it might be a little loud.
This is going to warm up the resin so that it'll move a little bit easier. Also popping any bubbles. Don't want air bubbles in your resin piece. to carefully go over my lights. Not necessarily the lights, but the, the wire. Now these are just tacked down with just a few globs of hot glue. See how it moves? I didn't want to put a whole bunch of hot glue on it because if it's going to be a semi-transparent piece, like pieces of it, it's going to be transparent. I didn't want that whiteness of the glue to show through. Oh, this is getting hard to do. I got my mask on and it's fogging up my glasses. So with every breath, I go blind. <laughs> so you kind of want to rub the, um, the wire so that the resin gets under it too, because you don't want air bubbles trapped under that. kind of coming up some it's okay all right one last check for the edges underneath heat gun it one more time wanting to pull away from the edge here but I mean this is the base coat so whatever does pull away from the edge looks like it's only doing it in that one spot all right cool now Hang on a second. I'm going to go put this over there. So you can see sparkles. You can see the black glitter. It's not sparkly, but it's still kind of a uh, cool effect. All right, so that, hang on here, that is um, about all I was going to do for right now, and I'll be coming back 
with um, the other the color layer. I still haven't decided if I'm using all those colors or not, but I'll make it really funky and galaxy, galaxy ee. -E. So I did want to give a mention. Um, Tammy Anderson is she has a uh, paint it forward campaign going for all of us uh, YouTube artists. Whether we are veterans or new to the YouTube world. Um, I've been painting and doing this for about a year. A little over a year now. But I did just start my YouTube channel not too long. A couple months ago. So she has a Paint It Forward campaign. And, I don't know if you can see this or not. I'm going to get it close up. So my two shout outs are um, one, Archangel Art Studio. Let me get it here. Oops. Um... I watched them a while ago, um, like when I first started the journey of painting and everything, and uh, he did some really cool stuff, and then they disappeared for a little bit. Uh, I'm not sure what happened. I think he lost his studio space downstairs or something, and then um, he's back now. So, he's been doing some pretty cool stuff. So, go check him out. Um, and then, and more art. Or some people are saying A&D more art. But Angela over there, she is doing some great stuff too. I believe her channel just started out. Uh, so, go and check her out. And, uh... Subscribe to their channels, subscribe to mine, and if you're not already a subscriber to Tammy Anderson, go check her out too. I think that this is a really great challenge that she's given all of our artists to support one another. So uh, there you have it, and uh, that is the second clip of the video, and I will see See you guys soon. Hey guys. Alright, I'm back after I mixed up my resin and all my colors for my Galaxy Pour. This is the one that um, I put the fairy lights in, in the shape of a, uh, hang on here, I'll show you. This is going to be in my galaxy pour, and this is the fairy lights are in the Cancer constellation. Is the Cancer constellation. So, turn them off. Get that sealed up. All right. So I have an abundance. Of colors I'm using. Most of them are from resin art. These are the ones I decided on. Um, I have the the black that I'm using is the satin enamels from Deco Art.
This is the gold dust from Stone Coat. See how yummy that is. This is the Sun Catcher by Larez. This one is the Bling It Violet by Resin Art. Uh, this one is the Mayron Gold. The rest of them are all from Resin Art, um, from ColorArt.com, and then you go under the resin pigments. This one is Fantasy Fuchsia. This one is gorgeous. This one is Blue Moon. Oh my god, that's so pretty. This one surfs up. Uh, the Royal Amethyst. These color art pigments are so vibrant. This one is Periwinkle. I think it's called Pretty Periwinkle. And which one am I missing? Oh, the green. It's called Seagrass. All right, so I think this might be a project that I have used the very most colors in. I'm sure I'm going to have leftover resin. I'll make some coasters or something. All right. So I am using the Stone Coat countertop resin. It's not the quick coat. It's just the regular countertop. It's got about a 45 to an hour working time. So I'll have plenty enough time to do what I need to. And first I am going to put some clear down so the colors will move around good. And add some depth. Now I'm going to save some clear because once I get my colors down, um, I can put clear on it and it will uh, can sometimes do little like windows. All right, I'm going to put my mask on because I'm going to heat up some resin. And when I mixed up my pigments, I had my mask on too. Okay. So watch your ears. I'm going to heat this up a bit. <clears throat> Just a little bit so that I can get it moving. set of gloves on here. Come on. Okay. I'm just going to spread this around. Real quick, it doesn't have to be perfect, it just needs to be on here. I took a Posca pen and I um, can't really see it until I put the resin over it. I covered the wire 
to the fairy lights with black so that you can, um, first of all, so it wasn't silver. Second of all, so you could actually see the complete outline of the uh, Cancer Constellation. I chose this constellation because I am a Cancer, and if it don't sell, then it still <laughs> remains relevant <laughs> to me. So, but yes, it will be for sale. All of my art is for sale, so if you're ever interested in something, you see something that you like, and you're interested, just please contact me. Alright, so I think we're pretty covered here with the clear. Except for right here. All right, strip off this glove. Didn't have much resin on that one, so I can just wipe it off. Oops. Okay. So I've seen a lot of the galaxy cores and I thought that they looked really fun, but I've never tried one. What the hell happened here? Uh. So yeah, I've never tried one, so I thought I should do a galaxy core. And then I thought, because I always have to try to up my game, I thought, you know what would be cool? Is if I did a galaxy core with a constellation with fairy lights. Because I always got to try to be extra, you know? That was just to pop some bubbles. So, oh, I thing here. All right. So, this is the deco art. This is actually um, my replacement for the stone coat. I'm still playing around with it, tweaking it. It sometimes doesn't work very good, sometimes does. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, I still use the stone coat when I can get it out of the bottle. <laughs> and I love their resin, it's just I have a hard time with their base coats. Um, hmm. Alright, so we're going to... So we're just gonna go through here. So I don't need it over the edge yet.
just going to try to make it kind of wispy and pull it through the clear. Actually, you know what? Just want to make sure I don't get any of the black over one of the LED lights, you know. Just kind of mixing this in with the clear. Okay. All right, so now we're going to add some colors. I'm going to go with Star of a Loon. Blue Moon. Whoops. Royal Amethyst. Surface up. This is a gorgeous color. We'll get it mixed in with some of this clear.
let's get some get some heat on it get it moving around a bit get the color off of that light um, I think I'm going to use cap on my heat gun. Get it warmed up, pop the bubbles first, and then I'll start to move it. Doesn't look very galaxy, -y, but it sure is pretty. <laughs> I have a lot of resin left, you guys. I didn't even I didn't even put any of the blingets or anything in here. Ugh. Oh boy, these colors are so fantastic. Okay, I didn't get any of the green in. Whoops, just slopped that up. All right. This is the bling it violet. We're gonna just kind of like drizzle. I'm going to run it over the 
edge like that. That's the bling it violet. Got to put some galaxy sun catcher in. That's pretty. This has got like a tinge of uh, gold. Ugh. This is the Stone Co. Gold Dust Metallic Glitter. Just gonna add some little streaks and some Just to highlight. If I drizzle some clear on it, it sometimes makes some pretty cool effects like um, kind of like little windows and depth, especially for like a galaxy piece. All right, let me heat this and move it around again. See what we get. We're probably going to have to do a whole other piece here because I got a lot of resin left. Got a little fish eye here starting, so if you find them, and you just kind of like tap on them a bit.
It's gold dust and it's stuff. Whoops. Don't put the heat gun in your resin. I'm not used to the end of being that long. I do like that green, which is weird for me because I'm not a green person. This is not what I was going for. I do think it's pretty. But I think I gotta put some more black in it to darken it up. Make it more whimsical, gallery-ish, or I'm sorry, galaxy-ish. So, I have resin dripping all over the damn place. Definitely be making some coasters. Alright, I gotta add some black somewhere. to make some more hair. I just flicked black resin everywhere. <sighs> All right, let me pick the part. To darken up here.
All right. Get this darkened up a bit. With some bling it and some starry golds and Whoops, uh, that was a bit much. Let's try this again, see if I can get some more action out of it. That bling it is making it look a little bit more galaxy-ish and less like a Mardi Gras party, which I mean is okay too, but that is not my plan. here even that out put in some red sun catcher in this case it would be like the planet catcher <laughs> And this surfs up is looking to be a real close favorite of mine. So pretty.
I'm going to, this is a complete mess, holy smokes. Okay. Now I am just going to do a little bit of this uh, Mayron because it is so strong and it'll come to the top and just sit and could possibly take over the whole entire painting so you really got to be careful with it like just dip and streak it through Again, the clear over the colors is depth and like if you put some just like this it'll push the colors out of the way and it kind of looks like a little window heat up and then I think we will put it to bed. Hang on. Oops, I got some color in this star catcher or sun catcher. If you're doing like the line work, if you start at the, like off of your substrate, then you just kind of like pour it and keep like the same, uh, what's it called? Uh, the word, the word, the word. Keep like the same pace. Because if you slow down, then you're going to get, your resin's going to, like, do one of, 
do this. So when you want a nice straight line, you want to start off your canvas. <laughs> and as I show you, it breaks in the middle. Awesome. Start off your canvas and run it all the way. All right. Here we go again. Love your ears. You gotta keep moving your the space you're working on because your resin gets pretty hot. And it can start smoking. But just if it just smokes a little bit, you're okay. If you end up working it too hard then you could um, scorch your resin. Okay guys, here is my Galaxy 4. All finished. It's got a couple coats. Actually one flood coat over top of the colored resin. All that sparkle. So pretty. And then, of course, we have Fairy Lights, which is in the Cancer Constellation. I'm a Cancer, so, again, if it doesn't sell, I'll be able to keep it. Um, but I might do some other constellations in the future. can see the sparkle. So starry. Sparkle. Alright, so there she is all finished, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, oh, I also finished with my flood coat on my tree. So I'll show you guys that. This is the finished tree. The gold leaf or blue leaf tree that I worked on.
I love that. It came out so pretty. Alright guys. There she is. The crab. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.